peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Vic Slain Hope. And I got another video for y'all. And this video is about the PNB situation. Um, personally, I think he was set up. Um, but that's, that's, I'm going to get into that. But just bear with me. I'm going to play this video and then I'm going to get into the whole situation. LA's always felt little spooky to me. And just tell me, and, and it's fine. You tell me if, if, if it's just me being pussy. But like, just no. <laughs> LA, I think I think because we, 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 LA is synonymous with the death of Biggie, death of Pac. Taking off. Bro, somebody tried me on Fairfax, like, like mid pandemic. But it was like Why another so one. Of, I don't know. I guess because niggas be sweet. You feel me? And niggas, they just you niggas see me with my family. And niggas, they think I'm just out here lacking. You know what I'm saying? So it would be one of those type of situations. So we're like, niggas. Yo, I hear that just walking up to niggas in like broad daylight, like, yo, give me your chain. <laughs> like, I'm like, yo. No, niggas try me on some. It'd be like, every oh, time. they try to take your jewelry or some shit? I don't know, but they'd be like, I be on shit and I'm not. Where I'm from, we like sneaky criminals. Like, <laughs> yeah. in LA, it's like they bold. It's like, they want you to know. They want you to, they want to spark a conversation with you first before they get into some shit. Some of them, some of them might just go crazy. Like, I know some niggas like that too. They might not even, they might be on their sneaky shit too. But the majority of the times I got into some shit, it was like they just gave they drop up too fast. You feel me? So the second time I got into some shit, it was like niggas was just talking loud as shit. Wanting me to hear their conversation. And it's like, I'm with my peoples. Like, I'm with my, my, my daughter and my girl. Like, why are they talking about this gangster shit? Like, this one, like, we outside, we on Fairfax. I'm like, man, you know, I already peed the bitch. We this gangsters out there on Fairfax? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I'm on Fairfax right now. <laughs> so I'm like, man, we out of here. You feel me? Like, we going. My girl, like, no, nah, we ain't. I'm like, I'm just going off of the vibes. Like, we out. Is, is she peeping the energy? Because I'm going no, to you on peeping. point. Yeah, she ain't peeping. She was that's thinking I'm tripping. about women sometimes. She be thinking man. I'm tripping. So, in a mix of all this, I'm like, no, we out. So she peeped it. I'm serious. She's like, no, nah, we out. So the reason that I played that clip with academics is because. He already had had a, a previous situation, right? Now, we don't really fully know what was the full extent to that, but he felt like somebody was trying to try him in the situation. So being a person that has had previous situations in this particular city, I think it's more incumbent upon you to move a certain way. Now, before I even get into that, right, first and foremost, my condolences to his family. It's, it's never a good feeling to lose people, to lose family members. You know, when people die, it's, it's, it's that shit, man. It hurts. You get sad. Um, it's, it's a very tough time, right? He, he got children. The collateral damage that's going to be done. We don't know how many people he was helping out, how many people he was feeding. Um, so that's that's definitely uh, a thing, right? At the same time, I also want to say that, like, some of us are not fully um, innocent people. And... What I, what I want to get to is, I don't personally know this man, and I'm not saying here, that I, don't, I really don't make videos about dead people, but I want to talk about something, right? When I went to Miami, first of all, this man's name is PNB Rock, right? If, if any of y'all know anything about Philly, I believe P and B is like an intersection, right? Or a street crew. Um, I, I think they, they P and B stand for like two different streets, if I'm not mistaken, in Philadelphia, right? Where this man is from. Um, when I went to, I didn't even know that. When I went to Miami, I was in Miami hanging out and I met some chick. As I was talking, I remember one time we was chilling and I was playing some PNB rock music. And this chick was like, she told me to turn it off. I didn't know why she told me to turn it off. Right? Now, I was like, damn, you hate him that bad? And she was just like, oh, nah. And what she told me is that PNB has something to do with one of her close relatives getting killed, right? She said that PNB put up some money on one of her relatives' head, and he ended up getting killed because of that. Now, I don't, this is not for me to say, oh, he's he did some shit, right? I'm just saying this is what a woman told me, a woman that I was having a conversation, and when she explained to me what it was, and she was the one that basically broke down, like, PNB is a crew, um, and, and she mentioned, like, some whole other things. So I don't really want to go into full details. So the point is, some of us, man, a lot of us been out here doing dirty things, man. We've been doing foul shit to people. And sometimes, in some way, that shit always come back. It's, you know, it, it always come back. And I'm not saying that's why this happened to him. But I played that video because he obviously stated that he had a, a little something before when he went out there, right? And again, he mentioned, like, you know, they thought I was lacking. They thought it was sweet. And it's crazy because it, it almost seems like you was lacking, bro. Like, you're, not, you're no longer here. 
and it's fucked up, man. That shit is crazy. And and this is one of the reasons. And I know it says robbery, right? We don't really know. Like one thing we gotta we gotta always keep in our mind. We don't really know why this man got killed. We don't really know why he got shot. You know, we don't really know. They telling us that, right? But we don't really know the full extent of it. I personally think it's a setup. <coughs> I think it's a setup. And the reason I think it's a setup is because this. A lot of pop smoke died in a similar way. And then later it came out that the shorty, some shorty that was in the crib lined him up. Right? That she knew one of the other dudes. It's a lot of crazy shit. So I would say this. A lot of people is like, oh, it was an accident that she just posted the location. And I'm like this, man. I know women. And it could be an accident. It could be. I'm just telling you what I think. It can be an accident. I don't believe it's an accident because of this. Women are very peculiar about their own safety, right? And this is just from me knowing women. It's only a certain kind of women who don't give a damn about their safety. They'll go sleep anywhere. They, they'll go anywhere with whoever and they just don't really care what happens to them. But most women, they are very, very, very peculiar about their safety. So they net, they don't really post addresses. They don't really post certain things. So I cannot sit here and believe that this whole shit was a fucking accident. I just can't. I can't sit here and believe. You know how many stories we have heard of people dying like that? And you're dating a celebrity. You're dating an artist. You think, you think P and B probably never had those conversations with this woman? You know, this is why Kodak posted this statement. And he said, "You might as well kill yourself, right?" Um, because he's probably coming from the same mindset of like, "Yo, like you're stupid, like you know." And I don't think, and don't get me wrong, women, are, some women are stupid, right? But I don't think this was one of those situations where she didn't know what the hell was going on, like. Do you know how many stories we have heard of people posting their addresses of where they are and their locations and dudes coming up and shooting them? It's too many stories for me to just sit here and believe this shit was an accident. Too many stories. I'm pretty sure they heard about the pot smoke situation and the address. I'm pretty sure they heard about... Man, the, the, the names of rappers that get killed like that because they post a location or because they, they post an address or because... Somebody recognizes something in their background or in their video. It's countless. So I don't think that shit was some accident, man. Also, I heard they didn't really take much from him. In a robbery situation, like why would somebody have to kill him? Right? It's almost like Pot Smoke situation. Pot Smoke got killed and they didn't really take nothing from him. But it's a robbery, right? Certain shit just don't make sense. It don't make sense and maybe the truth might come out later or maybe it don't. <clears throat> but I think that you just got to move a certain way. And this video is not about how you should move. I just wanted to give you a different picture. Because sometimes we have done wrong. And I know it hurts. You know, we want to talk about when it happens to one of our loved ones. When it happens to our mans. We want to like, you know, we, we mourn and, 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 and we do these things, right? But do we ever sit there and think about the, the harm that our mans have caused to somebody else? Do we ever think about the harm that my mans, the collateral damage that my mans might have killed somebody or my mans might have robbed somebody or my mans might have took food out of somebody's mouth? We don't be thinking about that shit, right? Because we don't care. That's just the reality. And the, and the, and the reality of that is that somebody not going to care about your mans. And then the, the, the shit goes on and on and on, right? So at what point do we be like, you know what? We just got to be better people, man. A lot of times we reap what we sow. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes there'd be accidents out here. Sometimes there'd be innocent bystanders. Sometimes there's certain situations that, you know, the good die young, they say, right? But there's a lot of situations, bro, where people have done some dirt and done some foul shit to somebody. They have done some dirt to somebody family, to somebody brother, to somebody sister, to somebody. And, you know... And that shit come back, man. It's some sad shit, though, because it's just a cycle. It's just a cycle. So, I'm not even in the streets. And I tell the woman I'm with, like, I just move a certain way. That's, you know what I'm saying? So, either he wasn't moving. <clears throat> I don't want to make it about him. 
but I'm just keep it on me. Like certain women that I deal with, they already know. Like yo, I was in the streets. I done done shit to people. I done, you know. So, you know, when I when I tell you something, like we we you know we move in a certain way. Like so, I I just can't see him, especially being who he is, or or if he grew up wherever he grew up. I can't see him not have having not having these conversations with the woman that he dealt with. I can't see him like not explaining that to her or I can't see her like not knowing that you're not supposed to post locations. Like I just can't see that, man. Cuz I ain't going to hold you. Shit crazy out there in LA. <clears throat> I was out there in LA when I went out there in LA. I ain't going to tell you the block I was on. But when I was out there in LA, I was talking to like I was out there talking to the homeboys. And the dude was just talking to me regular, and I was like, you know, I asked him a question. And he was just like, yeah, man, uh, we out here. We don't care about no police, blah, 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 X, Y, Z. He backed out a gun on me. Not on some trying to intimidate me, but he was like, we don't care about no police. We out here, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, they little action. I can't mimic their action. But he was like, man, we out here, man. He was like, you know what I'm saying? We don't care about no police. And he backed out the gun on me right there on the strip. He was like, we out, we out here. <laughs> and I was just like, shit. Then he even dropped the clip. He had an extra clip, and he dropped that shit on the floor. And I'm like, damn, this shit is crazy. So I can already imagine when they when they on that type of time, like when they on that hungry, I'm going to take your shit. That's another thing. This is why I don't wear jewelry. I don't wear certain things because jewelry attracts attention. And I know it's fucked up. Some people be like, that's crazy. I can't wear my jewelry. I can't wear certain things. This is the world we live in, bro. The world we live in is, is the haves and the have nots. And if you come through dangling, glittering, shining, the people who are less fortunate, they going to take that. It's not right. But you know how the game go. It's sad, but that's how the game go. I don't even want that type of attention. I don't want nobody. That's why I dress regular. I'm a regular. Yup, that dude is a bum. Yup, that's me. Bum here. <laughs> I'm saying regular. I'm a regular dude. Like, I don't like that. First of all, I don't want the attention from the women. And I don't want the attention from the men. <laughs> I really don't. Um, But it's a sad thing. Because of the collateral damage that is 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 is, is gonna it's gonna trickle down, um, but I just want people to think about man like we some of us if, especially we lived in the streets we have done foul shit to people. Sometimes it's not even you it might be your brother it might be your cousin you just might be part of the family, a crime family. So just want us to be mindful of that man like you know. It's, it's always somebody out there, man. It's probably somebody out there looking for me because I done did some shit. So I can't sit around here and relax and move a certain way. That's another thing. Dudes be, dudes be thinking like, nobody going to do nothing to me. Nobody going to touch me. And don't get me wrong. Sometimes I move like that. Sometimes I'm stupid like that. Sometimes I done slept on a lot of dudes. I'm not going to hold you growing up. But that was just because I was dumb. Also, I could also read in certain people's eyes. Um, I could tell, you know, by the grace of God, I'm still here. Alhamdulillah. It's just sad though. It's sad. <clears throat> but that's another thing. Some people think that nothing can happen to them. They can't be touched. You know? And man, it's, it's, it's sad, man. It's, it's a sad day in hip hop. Um, so let me know what y'all thoughts are. I think she I think she purposely um I don't think that shit was an accident. It don't make sense to me. I think women really fully care about their safety a lot. They don't even, when they be out by themselves, most of the time women won't even post until after they leave. You know, like, they know, some of these sisters know the safety protocol. So, even if it was an accident, it was a dumbass accident, I don't think it was. If she don't do shit like that on her own when she's out with her friends, also the fact that she deleted the post, you look suspect. Um... And, and it's, it's always going to look suspect when you post something and then you delete it. They say she deleted the post. It's crazy, you know. Um, so people are always going to be looking at you. Like, well, what was you doing? Like, so I think, one, women always care about their safety. They don't really be doing that shit on their own posts and locations like that. Two, you're dealing with a rapper or artist um, who, uh, he, he seems like he has some affiliations to the streets. Um, some street ties or whatever. Um, so even from the street point of view, street dudes don't be moving like that, right? Some dudes do. So, but hey, but even from the street point of view, boom, you don't be doing that. Another thing, he's an artist, celebrity at that. You definitely don't do that for that, right? So, I just think a lot of things don't make sense, and I'm and I'm also thinking like, damn, 
he had to have had this conversation with you. You 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 gotta know what's up when you're dealing with a certain kind of man, a artist, a street dude, <clears throat> a celebrity. You gotta know the vibe, like you know what I'm saying. You just gotta know the vibe, like. And I'm, I, but I don't want to keep going and redundant. I just think to me it don't make sense. I think it was line up set up. Um, but let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Y'all have a good one. Peace.